and approaching the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. Ah, oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. I don't care who you are. You get butterflies each time your name gets announced and you're headed toward that WWE ring. You mean the wrestling god got nervous? Well, not me, but everybody else. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. This battle just begun, and you can guarantee that these two are ready to go to war. The winner of this one will be making a statement that everyone will hear. Why is the guy his opponent, and what's he going for here? What a slam, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'll bet he can't believe it either. That must have felt awful. And so what are your thoughts right now on John Cena? There's so many impressive things about John Cena, but maybe the most impressive gift he has is his mental toughness. I'm not sure I've ever seen Cena lose focus in a match. Oh, and did you hear the impact? He's moving like a man. Here we go with the count. He's got 10 seconds to Two, get back up to his feet. Three. You know, when you look at Bray Wyatt, he may not resemble your traditional WWE superstar, but believe me, he can move in that ring. On top of his twisted mentality, Bray is strong as an ox and quick as a cat. Bray Wyatt will surprise you with his moves for someone who's six foot three and weighs 285 pounds. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Oh, wow. Oh, look out. All right. And now he gets a bit of a reprieve as the official once more begins to count. What makes Bray Wyatt so dangerous is that he actually has the athletic ability and physical strength to systematically dismantle someone exactly the way his ruthless mind tells him to. You talk about demented. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two. Ray Wyatt reverses it. Ow! Ooh. Oh, man, someone's got to stop. He's down, and now the official begins the count. He's got him. Oh, I'm not sure I can watch this. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two. Deep down right now. As the aggressor, you're praying that this one is done. Of all the chilling moves that Bray Wyatt slaughters an opponent with, the worst of them all, which I guess makes sense, is his finishing move, Sister Abigail. Bray just buries his opponent's face right in the mat. He's showing no signs of letting up. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. There's the suplex. That was nice. This guy's just too strong. Today, too fast. As awful as it is to say at times, John Cena is such a domineering entity between these ropes. Right now, we're witnessing him assume full control of the contest. What a reversal! Well, Michael, in Bray Wyatt's demented mind, he's comforting his foes before they meet their ultimate doom. The Sister Abigail finishing move is one of the most ghastly to see. And if you're an opponent, one of them. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two, three. And we're on the move again. Apparently, it'll take a lot more to end this match.
Last man standing match. Nobody's leaving this ring as friends. You're right about that, Cole. You definitely want to be the last man standing here. There's not a lot of cushion for your face. As you can see, everything hurts. No kidding. That's hurting me. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two. If a superstar does not think they need a plan to take Three. the fight to Bray Wyatt, my advice is to get your head examined. Wyatt even suggests to his opponents, run. The biggest strategy is to stay mentally strong. Do not allow this man, Bray Wyatt, to enter your mind and your thoughts, because in the end, that might be the one thing you have left. Michael, the way you've been talking about Bray Wyatt, you're starting to scare me. Turn up. He's down, and now the official begins the count. One rocked him. Can you believe that power from John Cena? Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Back between the ropes. Oh, it might be smart for the ref to call for the bell. That neck looks to be in bad shape. He's down, and now the official begins the count. He's starting to stir, Michael, but will he stir enough? Oh, my! Put it in the book! It's got to be over now. The damage has been done. If that doesn't do it, then what will? Now it's gut check time. This has been so exhausting. Oh man, there's the five knuckle shuffle. That had to hurt. And John Cena gains momentum in this match. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? He's down, and now the official begins the count. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. I thought he might have been... Here we go with the count. He's got 10 seconds to get back up to his feet. Three! How much damage did that do? Four. A lot from the looks of it. Five! Six! Break time's over. And here we go again. Fighting to get back to his feet. And he does. What's it going to take to keep these guys down? Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight, a city that has hosted several WrestleManias, including the second leg of WrestleMania 2. Look at this. Bray Wyatt. And now he gets a bit of a reprieve as the official once more begins to count. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? Quick thinking to avoid that. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. He's down, and now the official begins the count. If he can't get to his feet, this will be over. But I got a feeling he'll drag himself up if he has to. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their favorite arena to compete in. He's down, and now the official begins the count. It starts to feel like a broken record with that move. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. That did some serious damage. You can't take too many of those and expect to be in the match much longer. Super.
superstars are as dominant as this guy. Here we go. The officials counting again. Will it be for the last time? We're looking at great reversal. Bray Wyatt on the offensive. Very impressive. It doesn't take a great counter. At this point, you think you'd have that move well scouted. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Man, he's got to dig down deep here if he hopes to make it back to his feet in time. King, the last man standing match is one of the most physically demanding matches in all of WWE. You're right, Cole, and I think we're starting to see that physicality take its toll on these competitors. This has been so exhausting. But the ref can count to 100, Michael. This Three, one's over. Four. Five. Man, he's still down after that move. Six, I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. Seven. Eight. Nine. The strategy for an opponent of Bray Wyatt here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. You want to talk about crowd-pleasing? Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Let's go to the highlights here. That match was incredible. Here's your winner, John Cena. Now that's an eye-opening victory. Hey, they both gave it their all. But in the end, we were left with the best man standing. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.